What's up, everybody? Hi! <laughs> welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable makeup, but today is Friday. That means Fridays are a drag. And we're doing this classic, this beauty, this uh, recognizable 60s Barbie doll, who is Lady Bunny, pretty much. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this for a while. So this is one of my favorite legend drag queens. And I'm gonna be doing this pretty simple look very very uh easy simple just a regular casual look for walmart <laughs> so if you guys are interested then keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so youtube notifies you of every new video upload I upload three times a week on mondays wednesdays and fridays and also go live every monday do follow me on instagram and twitter the links are down in the description box as well as my patreon group so like, comment, subscribe, and re let's get right into this fabulous makeup tutorial. So before I go on to my bare face, I'm so enjoying the final look and you already of course getting the final results, but I've been meaning to do Lady Bunny for a while and since I decided to keep on my Friday's Desire Drag series. Uh, I'm doing all the looks I've been meaning to do but never got to do yet. So my drag playlist is going to be listed here. You're going to see a card. I've done a lot of girls from RuPaul's Drag Race. I've done the full season 13 looks of all the queens, some of them twice. <laughs> So you'll see all the looks from that season as well. And I've done a few legends already, of course. I mean, a lot of them are legends. Uh, one of my recent videos I did, Divine, and this was very interesting and very not similar, but from the same era, you know, like 60s, 70s. So this is like very simple drag, nothing counter. It's very blush and foundation and pretty much it. I'm feeling it clearly. All right, I'll shut up and you'll see me doing this whole bit. If you guys don't know, I have a Patreon group and we do, I mean, we do, I do special uh, lives just for patrons once in a while. And we have a Facebook group, we have Telegram chat, and also I have keep bugging my patrons for their birthdays so I can do shout outs. So the ones that I do have, I have a list. And I do birthday shout outs once in a while. So I'm gonna do three birthdays, one to just passed, one is coming up just now, and one is coming up in a couple of days. So first of all, just passed, Anne-Marie, I'm sorry I didn't get you before birthday, but I tried to do a few birthdays at the same time. So Anne-Marie's birthday was May 15th. She's my good friend, I actually met her in person. She's in Northern Ireland. She's the sweetest lady ever. I love her, I love you, Anne-Marie, happy birthday. Birthday, belated birthday. Uh, so the one that's coming up just now is Manuela, one of my patrons. Manuela, happy, happy birthday. Hers is May 23rd. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy. And the one that's coming up as well on May 28th, and it's Charlotte Johnston. And happy birthday, Charlotte. Also, I've been asking my patrons to tell me some random facts about them. As I'm saying happy birthday, I can mention something interesting about them and a couple of them paid attention. So if you haven't yet, please send me a birthday and a random fact about yourself. So uh, I haven't gotten anything from Anne-Marie, but a random fact about her, she's the most generous, kind and sweet person that I know. She's the strongest person, strongest uh, mother, and she's the best person ever. I just can't, uh, say how much I love her enough and Anne-Marie is wonderful and a random fact about Ma Manuela that she actually gave me she says random fact I'm a peanut girl and try only wear retro inspired clothing and out vintage so yeah and Manuela loves the victory role and the interesting random fact about me and her I only found out what the brand victory role means through her I never even really knew what it meant until I found out through Manuela and I googled it. 
Well, excuse me, in Soviet Union, we didn't have victory rolls. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, uh, that's my thing. I mean, in Soviet Union, we didn't know a lot of things. <laughs> that's an inside joke. Anyway, I'll leave you with that and we're gonna get into the makeup tutorial. So I blocked my eyebrows already clearly because the easy part about Lady Bunny makeup is no eyebrows. I have not seen any evidence that Lady Bunny ever wears any eyebrows anywhere. <laughs> and I googled it. Lady Bunny is only bangs. So we're gonna have to fashion something out of my wigs. Cause I don't have bangs on the wig and I do not want to cut my good wigs obviously because well I don't like bangs and they're good legs for her, so we're gonna make something do. Uh, so it's just pretty much kind of reminds me of Divine in a weird way because it's like very 60s, very retro, and it's only blue eyeshadow and eyelashes. I mean, obviously, it's very simple. So we're taking Beauty Creations, or is it Becky Sue? Actually, it's a Becky Sue primer. I mean, they're very similar, so I grabbed something out of my drawer, it's a white primer, and I mixed it with a little Pilouise base to give it a little more um, a texture, because Pilouise base is more opaque. So this is my primer, it's greasing, but it's okay. And we're gonna go with the Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette. I mean, I tried to use something else. Usually that's what I use for my uh, lives and for drag. And I started with another palette, but then that palette didn't have a black, it didn't have a white, and I'm like, well, in that case, I'm switching to Beauty Bay. <laughs> so I'm starting with the Cheap Perfusion Brush to do this, uh, it's kind of a medium, larger size, because it's there's no precision in this makeup, there's nothing special, it's just kind of a quick grease. So I'm gonna go with the combination of these two blues, and we're just gonna draw a line. But very sloppily. I always wanted to do Lady Bunny. The thing about drag, usually drag queens are uh, distinctive with their makeup style or their clothing style. It's a combination of everything. It's clothes, it's makeup, it's uh, eyebrows, lip shape, special contour. But Lady Bunny doesn't contour. There's no eyebrows. <laughs> and the lips are very average. So Lady Bunny is mostly a wig, that's what I figured. From doing extensive research, I figured Lady Bunny is a wig. <laughs> that's what you see, is a wig. <laughs> and that's what I don't have, so we're gonna have to improvise and make something work. Yeah, just like that, very simple. I'm going to dip into the white shade and the flesh tone shade together. She's gonna smooshy smooshy. Because this part is not going to be visible, so I don't even know what she does up there. Probably just a little blendy blendy, smooshy smooshy, like Teresa says. And there is no highlight. I think there is a little highlight. I've seen on some pictures online, but not much. Now I removed a little bit of that eyeshadow, we're going to cut the crease. And this is a very basic cut crease. I've seen a lot of pictures where she literally looks like she just painted some white eyeshadow with any kind of form shape <laughs> and I'll just make it more or less neat but not sweating about it. I'm mixing P. Louise base 05 and uh, the white base from Aliexpress. Something like this, very simple and I'm going to set this with a white eyeshadow from Beauty Bay palette. Taking a flat brush, any flat brush will do. I'm going to set this. Doesn't have to be very neat because the eyelashes and the bangs pretty much cover up everything. It'll do. And we'll do the white line in the waterline. I use NYX Jumbo White Eye Pencil. And we're gonna draw some black eyeliner. This is an easy, easy, fast tutorial. It's gonna take me a long time to make the wig. And that's gonna be what I'm gonna do off camera because that's gonna be a struggle. So now it's time for the eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Revolution. Uh, this is Rain Sense Flick. Uh, just any eyeliner pretty much and the line is very invisible because of the lashes she clearly is wearing uh stacked three of ones and i'm gonna wear my regular set of lashes because this is what it looks like so i'm just gonna put a line here like in the same shape so the top lashes pointing up 
and the bottom lashes are literally top lashes that's pointing down that's when <laughs> look it's clearly not bottom lashes that's what i love about her she doesn't give us s-h-a-t's she just puts them on So I cleaned up on my eyes, uh, and we're ready to do the base. I uh, did a little bit of eyeliner on the eyes. A top lashes and bottom lashes is the last thing, because that's what makes makes the look. So we're going to go with my usual four foundation, one of four, one of five. Uh, mostly one of four, because I don't want to look too tan. Lady Bunny rarely looks too tan in the picture, so I'm just matching my neck pretty much. This is going to be one of the easiest things. It reminds me a lot of the Divine makeup I did. Because Divine is from the same era where they didn't really do much contouring, highlighting. Any kind of uh, contouring of the face or shaping. Pretty much blush and that's it. Call it a day. So again, after all of my investigation, it looks like she doesn't have much of a highlight and contour. Maybe there is a little bit of contour of a double chin clocked her but i mean we all know she's got a double chin <laughs> but <laughs> can't help it i'm just gonna go with regular concealers because i don't think honestly she's using any clown white or any of that so i'm just gonna use the catrice camouflage liquid camouflage concealer in porcelain put a little bit in my hand and i'm going to use the usual that i use for drag because it's the lightest concealer i have it's juvia's place 21 color and it's like close to white, pretty much. And I'm gonna use my finger because I'm feeling extra lazy and I have no fingernails. I'm just gonna put it on the regular places where we usually highlight. I don't even know why I bother with my forehead. Okay, now we're gonna set all of this with my powder, Airspun. I set my under eyes with Maybelline pressed powder just because under eyes are one extra bright. And now we're doing the usual. I wonder how long my tutorial is gonna be, this one. Probably like, I'm estimated under 15 minutes because there is not much to it. I better succeed with a wig because a wig is gonna make this look. I don't even know why I'm bothering my forehead because my forehead is gonna be covered with a wig, but I mean. There can't be a full illusion. I'm going to bronze up my face just a little bit, not even to contour, just to add a little bit color to it because it looks a little bit too uh, monotone. There is nothing here, no color, no life in this face. So just using Belgian waffle. A couple of shades here, the medium and the dark. Just like a subtle, I don't know why I keep going for my forehead. It's just a habit. My forehead is going to be covered, but I still have to contour. All right, next step, blush. And the blush is always gaudy pink color, just like Divine. Those two got a lot in common after I investigated their makeup. So the pinkest and the gaudiest blush was in the set I got from um, TG Maxx, actually. ABH blush palette. And this is the color. This one in the middle. The other ones are fine, but the one in the middle is like a real cool tone pink. And I think this is what we're looking for here. Pretty much contour with blush. That's what we're doing. And there is nothing else going on here, clearly. After some consideration, I decided to use a little bit of Goddess of Love highlighter. It's our I Heart Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter. Just because it's very pink undertone and I feel like some pink here. Eyelashes are on. So these are the three pairs that I usually wear for drag. Uh, three of ones and two just the regular pairs of eyelashes. And the bottom ones the cheap lashes from Amazon that I haven't worn in a long time because they're so bad. So, but for the bottom, for the Lady Bunny look, it's just right. It's like, I arrived. So the lips are this Pale, pale pink lipstick, the true 60s style. I'm going to use something here, the Shockwave Neon Lip Liner from LA Girl. And I'm going to try to put something more cool tone, light lip. Uh, doesn't look like she overlines her lips. I mean, just a little bit. So it's just going to overline a little, a little bit. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to take this on and uh, put this bright pink over and then white over it. So to make this pale, pale pink lipstick. I need to buy one of those, you know. I keep thinking about it, keep forgetting. I really don't have this cool tone, lightest pale, pale pink lipstick, which is like gaudy, but <laughs> it could be useful in this tutorials. This is just Wet n Wild in the color Oh My Dolly. This is working. I'm just testing. The same eye primer, the Becky Sue one from Aliexpress, in white. I'll just step it on. And hopefully it's not gonna dry in the chunky texture. But if it does, I'm just gonna put lip gloss over it and call it a day. Okay, this was a combination of a lot of uh, layers and struggle for the lips. And this is pretty much those lipstick, the white concealer, and the lip gloss on top, Pout Bomb from Revolution. So let me uh, get into costume, like I have costume, and hair. <laughs> and we're gonna try to make something work here. So I'll be back all snatched up. <laughs> Hunt this, she's here. A lady bunny. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm very proud of what I created. I have no bangs on this wig, but I just twisted the hair pretty much from the back to the front and stacked. Category is wigs on wigs on wigs. Stacked wigs, or ratchet stacked wigs. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I could not seize the top because otherwise everything else would fall off, <laughs> but this is what we get. At least we get a lot of volume here and a thick bang, bang, here. I need to buy myself a cheap wig with a bang. That's all pretty much need, but we made this work with two wigs. One is from uh, Amazon, the cheap one is on top, and on the bottom under is a uh, Webster wigs wig and that one is a good one so I didn't want to tease or do anything with it because it's expensive <laughs> so yeah I'm very very much feeling 60s fantasy <laughs> I saw one lady by any picture when she's posing like this except my nails are ratchet I probably shouldn't be posing with anywhere oops I'm moving my lipstick nails anywhere close to my lips so I'm um, very happy with that. Would have been better if I had a real wig for Lady Bunny with a big bang, but we made it work. Uh, this is one of my favorites that I wanted to do for a while. And this is what we created, a totally 60s Barbie Lady Bunny. Okay. <laughs> so as usual guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And like this video if you enjoyed it, give this video a big thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And also go live every Monday. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter. The links are down in the description box. A huge thank you to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your support. And this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!